the first ever UK video release of John Carpenter's classic horror movie Halloween. Because it's Halloween right now and there's even a Halloween movie, Halloween Kills, in the cinemas as we shriek, I couldn't seem to resist showing you some of the first ever VHS releases of Halloween in the world. I'm going to show you the first three video releases that came out in the UK and then I'm going to show you the first releases in the UK on VHS of Halloween 2 and 3. So let's dive right in with this and you might be able to tell by the size of this tape that it is in fact a Betamax tape. This is not VHS. This is so cute. Yeah, how absolutely lovely and what a classic image that is. That's one of the greatest uh, Halloween images there I think. So simple and yet so effective. Now this video on the back is dated 1978 and it already describes Halloween as the most successful independent motion picture of all time. Michael Mayers, oh dear, they've spelt Michael's name wrong on the back. That is a travesty. This is like a cardboard slipcase and it's actually quite tricky to get this out of here but I'm gonna do it because I love you. Look at that, look at that reel, one reel. That's kind of a standard look for a Betamax tape. You've got a Halloween label on the bottom there. That's great, isn't it? How old school is that? And uh, yeah, I think I'll put these back together later when you're not here. So that was the first ever UK video release of Halloween. And here is the second release, much bigger in one of those big boxes that you more readily associate with the VHS era. This is what they call, especially in America, they call this like a clamshell box because it opens up like that, like a kind of clamshell, sort of. Oh God, they still haven't spelt Michael Myers right on the back. Don't you think someone would have said, by the way, guys, you've completely screwed up the back cover there, but mm, seemingly not. This is a really gorgeous cover. I really like the blue. And of course, this is again, the classic tagline that I should have mentioned with the first tape, the night he came home. Ah, on the back, I notice there's a bit of a difference on, on the blurb on this. Now it says claimed to be the most uh, successful independent motion picture of all time. Hmm, lovely spine. Let me get the focus on that. Yeah. And let's have a look at the tape inside. I think it probably looks much like the other one. Once again, it's got a PAL sticker on it. Don't forget, by the way, that I'm going to show you videos of Halloween 2 and 3 in a minute. And I'm also going to direct you to a new Halloween video of mine in which I go behind the scenes in a ghost train. That's going to be right at the end of this video. So stick around. That's a lovely label, isn't it? Look at that. See, one of the many beauties of VHS, apart from its aesthetic appeal, is that if this video was had been left like 17 minutes in, it never forgets where it is in the movie. So you could watch a bit of the movie, take the tape out, put it back in, and it will definitely stay at 17 minutes. I mean, of course, on the flip side, all the tape might also pour out of the casing and infest your video machine, rendering it useless. But hey, what a cool format. <laughs> Okay, Halloween release number three. Yes, this is actually not a sort of third subsequent release as far as I know. This is called an alternate sleeve. And I think for my money, this is the best of them all because it's so stark. It's kind of mainly black and white. I mean, look at this spine here. Yeah, I mean, that's the proper Halloween text that we know today, isn't it? Versus the early releases spine, which has just got Halloween on it, probably in the same font as the company put all the other titles. But yeah, I mean, this should have been the main prime release as far as I'm concerned. Once again, the same imagery. And this time, though, we're actually treated to a few uh, screenshots on the back there, which, uh, you know, makes the film seem more exciting. And how is Michael Myers spelt? Oh, my God. You ridiculous people. You ridiculous people. Ah, oh, it's a nice shiny kind of silvery label this time, which is pretty cool. Once again, it's got the PAL label. So that's the first Halloween movie. And I did promise to show you the second and third movies, UK VHS releases. Here's number two. And I really like this one. I think you will too, if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, look at that cover. What is that image? That's incredible, isn't it? Like a sort of a, a pumpkin skull or a skull pumpkin, a skumpkin. So I remember seeing this on video shelves and it kind of disturbed me because it kind of looked like the personification of evil looking at me with those hollow eyes there. Yeah, that's really cool. I like Halloween too because it's even nastier than Halloween. It's definitely uh, kind of less classy, which doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing. Look at that text there. That's very nice. This is on the Thorn EMI label that some of you may be familiar with. Yeah, that's really nice. Is Michael Myers? Yes. 
See, Thorne EMI did a professional job of spelling Michael Myers correctly. There's the tape label, Halloween 2. Halloween 3, I love Halloween 3. What do you think of all these movies? Which is your favourite Halloween movie out of them all? I want to hear down in comments. Halloween 3, that's another great image, isn't it? That's another really malevolent image. And it's just gorgeous. It looks like some kind of cosmic Satan, doesn't it? I don't know what that is actually supposed to be. And interestingly, it's got the um, it's got the subtitle there, Season of the Witch. This movie is, of course, the, the one that doesn't feature Michael Myers, but it's a great film in its own right. And I kind of wish it had just been called Season of the Witch so people didn't get so annoyed with it. And there's some suitably macabre imagery from... Uh, from from the film there it's a really nasty film actually it's yeah it's a really nasty piece of work you have to see this if you haven't already and ideally see it at halloween so you can sing along with the silver shamrock song now if you haven't already you really need to see my other halloween video in which i get a guided tour of brighton piers ghost train from the piers chief engineer of rides you get to see all the behind the scenes stuff and you can click on screen here on this very screen to watch that video so i suggest you do that now happy halloween and don't forget to embrace your obsession